Welcome to episode one of Dwarf Fortress. This is uh, basically, this is Paint Daubs, <laughs> which is the name of our fortress. You can see up through here, it's an outpost. Paint Daubs, or the Dwarven name is Logmag. So we're at, we're at the uh, at the settlement of Logmag. So a Dwarven, fort a Dwarven outpost. You've arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbid forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Sesma Dayton. So Sesma Dayton is our mountain home. So that's actually our civilization that we're from. Uh, there are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow or hook, provide for your dwarves. These are always the same sort of statements. Uh, by the way, you're expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. So we, we get that in autumn. So we're going to get our, our civilization will send a, uh, a caravan to us. And we want to try to get some trade goods before that actually does actually happen. So um, uh, before winter entombs you. But it is spring now, enough time to, del to delve secure lodgings ere the hands of Uthel Getsters uh, gets hungry. Now, that's always a clue. <laughs> that something is out there. Uh, quite often it will just be standard animals and it will give you a bit of an idea. It might be cougars or dingoes or kangaroos or something anyway. That usually it's just some sort of other creature. When you get something you've never ever heard of before, that's something weird and wonderful. And we're gonna have to deal with this possibly. It could even be on us right now. So we'll figure that one out. Uh, a new chapter of Dwarven history begins here at this place. So Logan make paint daubs, strike the earth. I'll just go through the very first things you should look for when you do go into a, into a new environment. So we'll just click on click OK. Now, that is a big, big clue. Always look to see what animal is mentioned there. If it's just a standard animal, then you're usually going to be OK. If it's something weird like this, I don't know what an uh, Uthelagets does actually is. I've got no idea. And I don't know why it's the hands of Uthelagets does. It could be... It could be anything. We just don't know. Uh, let's just go and click on OK. Now, if it's if it starts to run forward, hit the space bar and pause straight away. So click on OK. And this one is paused. Sometimes it will run forward. Sometimes it won't. But always, always pause. So you can evaluate and see what's going on. Now, uh, that uh, hand of Uthgall, let's just see what's around us. Is, is there any threat that, we, that we're aware of? Click on your citizens menu down through here and then click on others and we're not seeing any others just in here at the moment so that's actually okay so whatever that thing is is probably not going to be anything we have to really worry too much about at this point in time so what we can now start to do is, is also now the next thing we want to look at is saying what have we got that we can actually sort of then get uh, get activated let's just go to our stocks and you always get this come up whenever you sort of go to a different area. Go to the very, very bottom because what we want to look at is our weapons. And not for the sake of actually, well, not just for the sake of looking at our weapons. We have a look at weapons in through here. Now, we're bringing a lot of copper battle axes with us. That's interesting. They can through here. We've got a copper war hammer as well. We have uh, some copper short swords. Wow, we've got a lot of, this is not normally normal what you, what you end up having with the random sort of starts. Uh, even a copper spear. So we've got a lot of, a lot of equipment. Uh, we have a copper mace, uh, or three copper maces, but the important thing I wanted to look for was copper picks. Now, two of these are actual weapons. Two of the, like the picks are weapons, but also, sorry, two, two of these weapons are tools. And so um, there, there are tools in through here, but these are wheelbarrows and step ladders. So the tools that we will be using as tools in through here, and the weapons will be the, uh, will be the copper picks, and also, we can use the copper battle axe to chop down trees. And so this is what we'll actually end up sort of starting with. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm worried about that, that, little, that little message about the hand of Uthaladaz, uh, because that's going to be something. Now, what we might even do is I might, actually, I might take a little, um, a little diversion away. And let's find out what that actually... No, 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 let's not. Let's just see what. Let's see how we go. Anyway, we've got all these different copper battle axes and so on and so forth in through here. And we have the... We know we've got the picks. So armed with that knowledge, we know that we can sort of arm our dwarves quickly if we have to. Uh, and so we're going to have to be aware of that. We don't want to do go too far away from all of our supplies. We've got heaps of stuff. All of that stuff we saw in stocks, all of this stuff that we actually have brought with us is all here on this wagon. There's one of the picks, for example, that's sort of sitting off on the side. 
Now, we're going to need to get wood because we know that we're starting off in an aquifer zone and we want to get through the aquifer in this particular session. Um, so I will actually just go forward. I'm just going to get the sound levels up just in case there is anything I need to interact with. And we're just going to go to, to tree chopping. I'm just going to chop down the trees. I've got to be a bit careful that we don't do it too close to everyone, but we, do want to, we don't want to be moving too far away either. Let's just get a few of these trees knocked down and uh, then we'll sort of head on underneath. Um, back in through here. And uh, so that will get the tree started. Now, the next thing I want to do is to so sort of, and if we have a look at our workers, we've got one tree tree lopper. So we've got a, a, a tree, a woodworker in through there. We have a miner up through here as well. And we have the fisher dwarf, which, and we don't want to have the fisher dwarf fishing essentially, or not yet anyway. Well, he can't. Everything is frozen and under snow. So he won't find anything to fish. So let's just go forward. Uh, we've got the. Um, yeah, just so there is no others, that's fine. So there's no danger that we can sort of see at this point in time. Now that can come on us at any time. So we need to get our security. We need to get underground fairly quickly and ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of start with uh, by by getting some of our guys. If we go to the labor menu, you can see through here again, this, these are just going to pop up. By all means, have a read of them. Now we've got one proficient miner. I want that miner to only do mining. So I'm just going to go and put that one on. So this, when I toggle that one, you'll see it in the top right. It says this worker is specialized and will only do tasks that match their, their workshop assignments, work details and occupations. So click to toggle. So if we toggle that one off, it then says this worker is not specialized and will do any free tasks. Now we definitely want to have the miner working as the miner. Now, the next thing we want to do is we've got uh, woodworkers. Now, we've got all these axes as well. The more people I have with weapons, whether it be picks or axes, the safer we're going to actually ultimately be. So I'm going to make... I've got all those uh, those different things. Let's go in with miners. Let's go and make a few of these, like the Fisher Dwarf. We don't want really doing Fisher Dwarving, so he can do that one. We've got a mason, which is sort of... Um, semi-related to um, to mining so why not let's make that's the three picks that we actually have uh, let's go and put everyone else down as woodcutters at this point in time now you don't have to do this but uh, it it will I'm, I'm worried about that statement <laughs> the fact that it said that has really got me spooked and so uh, we're just going to do this one that way four of them can ultimately think that they're miners but they will do other, sorry they'll think that they're wood choppers which will at least arm them if, uh, if there's something out there. But it sounds like it's actually more powerful than what we can contend with. So let's just go and uh, leave that one where that is. Now, that's the first little thing before we un unpause. Now, what we want to do is we want to go down underground to find the aquifer. Now, the aquifer could be two levels down. It could be 10 levels down. We just don't know. It, it's, it can sort of range, but we were told there was an aquifer. So let's just start to search for it. Now I'm going to go into my mining menu and then dig a stairwell. So we're going to dig a stairwell. I want it really close to where this stuff is because I want to bring the stuff back off. And I'm just going to go straight down underground a fair distance and, uh, and just sort of see what we find. Now, if we do find the aquifer, it's then going to, uh, it's going to stop mining and we'll get a message on the side here. So we'll, we'll have a bit of a lookout for anything. So let's just go and, and let them go and do the mining and just look over here for any sort of interaction. So we're now we're finding hematite. That's good. That's iron. Nothing else. All right. So these guys have chopped down these lots of trees, which is actually fairly good. What we can now get them to do is to start getting ready. Now we've actually gone a fair way down, and we're still going. We still haven't found the aquifer. As I say, usually it's actually fairly high up. It's always going to be some sort of porous material. Like we've got limestone in through there limestone uh, limestone down through this side we're into lime so this is a lot of limestone um, so we'll see what else we are this until we actually really get into solid rock uh, we could have the aquifer anywhere until we actually reach that you can also get multiple la layers of aquifer as well you can have like like two la two different aquifers that you're that are sort of uh, are flowing through the uh, through the through the land so we'll just continue on until we actually do do strike that Let's go and now get everyone else that's not a miner to uh, to start to put the wood in a, in a convenient little stockpile. So we'll just get this one right next to where we need to then break our way through the aquifer. So this will be, we'll accept the stockpile, make this into a wood stockpile. And um, we will just go okay there. It's always, wor I always worry about being so exposed on the outside of what we're doing through here. 
So they then bring all this stuff in. What are we also be finding? Tetrahedrite, that's good as well. So we're finding more and more minerals, which we'll be able to then go and mine. So we still haven't found this aquifer. We've got rock salt now. It's still not solid rock. So we just look at, this, at the, what we got through here. This is this is all very very soft rock. This is this could you know the aquifer could be anywhere through here. Finding what else are we finding? Indigo tourmalines. So they're bringing all this in, which is good. Okay, okay, okay. Now, actually, it sounds like we've actually now finished our mining. We still haven't found it. So we'll just keep on going deeper. Now, this is a bit of a gotcha. Um, this is, uh, I'll, show, I'll try to show you things that where you may actually have a problem. Let's just say we want to dig deeper. You sort of naturally think, okay, this is the end of the staircase. There's nothing down below it. If we go back into here, grab the staircase, and then start to dig further down again from that level, you think, okay, well, that's really what we need to do. We'll just dig down. And so we end up with up downstairs, essentially, which is what you expect. But when we get to that layer that we were on there before, it's now gone to a down stair, not an up down stair. This will then break the stair at this point. And you will then end up with some of your dwarves stranded down on this layer because they can't get up because there won't be any up stair. You don't do stairs that way. So what we do is I'm just going to go and uh, and get rid of that designation. This is still an upstair now, and then we've got our up down stair down below. We need to create into we need to create this into an up down stair. Now to do that, what we do is we go back into the stairwell, we move up to an existing up down stair, and then start the process, and we move past that one. When we find even the designation to build an up an up down stair, it will then just keep that one. It will change this one into an up down stair now because we've got the up stair component of it and it will then go and keep that one as well so it didn't change that one either so we've just got those sort of happening let's just make sure that this actually does work okay just get rid of those what have we found jasper now there it's still going oh here we go here we go this is the aquifer so we've now we've now struck the aquifer we're a fair way down, actually. This is a this is a long, long way down. It's not normally this far. Now we could go off, off in a, in a tangent, but if we're safer to get under the aquifer and then sort of work with everything from that point forward. So let's just keep on going down, and uh, we'll deal with the aquifer right now. So we've got, we've got normal things in through here. We'll just let these sort of come back through. They're, that's now done. Uh, yep. So you can see the digging designation cancelled. Damp stone located times four. Just go and uh, right click on that one to, to dismiss it. So this one now disappears because it's basically been cancelled, but we still have the up down down below. Now we don't know how thick this aquifer will be, but it's very, very slow because it's a light aquifer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did before. The up down stair, we, we can start here because this is an up down stair. We go to the one above, go through that layer, down to that layer through there. That then designates, even though we know that this is damp, it designates them for, for, for uh, mining. Okay, and we're now finding more designations back and through this side as well. And this is now all aquifer. The way aquifers work, if I just go back into, I'll just go in and, and show you this. If, um, if you've got like a, let's just say that's a, a single block and you've got another block over through here, for example, and another block in through here. And these are all aquifer blocks. What will happen is the aquifer will leach out through the orthogonal directions. And so they won't leach out between each other. They don't share the water as such. And so they will actually, but they will leach out into here. So in this area through here, we've got water coming this way and this way, both coming in. They don't go diagonally. So it won't actually reach us diagonally, even though water in the game flows diagonally to a degree, it doesn't actually, aquifers don't leach diagonally. Now, the other aspect of, a, of an aquifer is if we actually had a, um, I'll just do this as a designation. Let's just say this was an aquifer uh, area. Now the aquifer is an aquifer from the top and from the sides. And so if we actually had uh, like blocks in around an aquifer like this, for example, it would stop everything from coming in. But the interesting thing is, is that any water that goes down onto the aquifer, into the aquifer area, or even if we had a hole where this was a hole and these were aquifer elements, 
the aquifer, the aquifer is, a, is a self level. It will absorb water up to the up to its maximum level, which is level seven. So it's going to essentially just you can end up very. You can use them for safety as well, but you can't transport them. They basically stay where they are. So they are what they are, but they are interesting. So to stop this aquifer, we need to block off the stuff that's actually happening in around here. I'll just go and delete all this. And sorry, we'll just go back in, just normal mining. So we just need to channel out these little areas and then fill them in with the logs that we've got upstairs. And there we are. And we'll start to see water now collecting from the aquifer. Now this will then also splash down onto the layer below. Now what we do is we now go, now when, we, when we're using, like these are designations and designations interact with the environment. So that's actually what we're dealing with when we're dealing with a designation. They interact, they interact with something, not just the environment, they interact with something that exists. So if it's a wall and you're trying to mine through it, you're going through something that exists. If you need to, um, need to remove a building the, the, like, or a piece of, uh, like a piece of furniture or something of that you, it's more likely going to be like a, a, a structure. If you have a structure that you have built, like it could be a, a wall that you've built and you want to remove it, you designate to remove something that exists. If something doesn't exist where it is and you need to construct it, it's going to be in the build menu. So in this case, we now need to go back into the build menu to move these things in. So we just go across and uh, go to construction. So build constructions wall in through this side. And we just go and make this. Oh, hang on before we do that. So build construction. We're going to be doing a lot of this. So when you go into this one, just make sure you've got this little thing ticked on. Keep building after placement. So I, I um, so I've had that on from before. But anyway, that's we just want to keep that one there. Now we've got a heap of wood in through this side. So we'll just go and put two of them in there. You can use the, 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 the stuff that's down here as well if you're wanting to. And we'll grab that and that. So just as a bit of summary, let's just have a bit of a look. So we've now got, this is now designated. When we come back up the top, uh, we already have um, up the very top here, we've now got this thing full, this little stockpile full of the wood that we chopped down. I'm not going to chop down anymore. We've got enough here initially. Until we, uh, the important thing is that we get structured. And as I say, that that um, that description is freaking me out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got more more damp stone. Okay, that's the first bit. While they're building that, let's just keep on digging down. We can still keep on. It's very very slow. The it's not a a massive flow. Now, if this is a heavy aquifer, we have to act really fast. We have to do it a different way. But this is a really easy way to get through these. So we now go to the next layer. Again, we've got an up down stair through existing up down stair through through there. We just go and click on that one and click through that one and through to the next one. And so we keep on doing this until we sort of stop finding damp stone. And that can take a you know it can take four or five uh, four or five areas. Let's just go and have a bit of a look. Yep, so they're cancelling their designation, but they are getting there. Now, this is also then going to splash. And so this we know is, this is this is conglomerate wall in through here. I think it was mudstone up through here, was it? No, that's all conglomerate. So the conglomerate is where we've got the problem. But see how they're now putting the walls in? So they're actually blocking this one off. And, um, and nicely, they're all actually carrying their axes. We've got all these spare axes, so great. <laughs> we can always stop them from that designation whenever we feel like it. Um, and then we just go into here again chop this away and we just keep on doing this it's just rinse and repeat all the way down okay and we're still getting the same splash of water just sort of sitting on the bottom of the stairs where we are now that could be misleading at different times when we start to come in like if i go to designation we can definitely see this is actually an aquifer it's not like if we had have dug that if it was a wet wall because of because of splashing and then we actually dug like this we wouldn't see these and so that would then mean that we're at the bottom of the aquifer so we'll just go back across i'll show you that when we get to the bottom because it will be a bit misleading uh because of this water that's collected in here already so construct we do have to keep on moving with some sort of purpose in through here get the the logs logs and this one here 
and actually what, while we're doing that we'll just make sure this one still hasn't done by the way if you find that stuff hasn't been constructed just have a quick look there's a and it may be that you've got a, a thing through here so this planter cancels constructing building uh, creature occupying site what's occupying the site there is it up the top is there uh is there somebody on there I'm not seeing it there. I'm not sure what the problem is there. If we go and... Um, now, it could be that something... Like, there may have been a cat standing on the piece of log that he wanted to use. And so, quite often, just double-check. Now, one way around this is you can very quickly have a look at your, at your task information menu and have a bit of a look through them. Now, if you see things like this, which means that they've been suspended, unsuspend them because that needs to be put in there. So always double check that there's nothing suspended in through this site. So that way we just keep it open. At least these guys are all building the walls, which is great. Um, just right click and just continue on down. Um, yep, so we're back in through here. Yep, so that one now, they should now start to put all these different bits and pieces in. We'll just keep on mining down because like they really, it really is not a problem doing this. So. Uh, we'll just go down again, up downstairs. We start in the upstair, break through into where we've got the other up downstair designation and just continue on. So down they come. Now, actually, I might just have a bit of a look. Um, dwarves are still suspending that one there. We've got an animal that's grown to become a stray water buffalo bull. Yeah, we're getting all these different designations. Now, is that still causing issues? No, that one's now been blocked in. So that one's okay. That's been blocked in now, and it's no longer an aquifer. It is damp though, so it's it that but that's okay. That's there's um this has now been made secure. Now we've got another issue in through here. I'll just right click. This one's okay. That one's okay. Okay, I think we're maybe I just didn't clear it, clear the messages. Uh, we'll just watch what actually happens in through here. Yep, so damp stone found. Um, again, if we uh, just get rid of those two there, we can then sort of see that we've got the uh, that little bit of water is just keeping on following us down through the uh, through the actual building. We'll just go and construct. We're seeing water everywhere, so that's a good indicator that we've got a uh, we've still got ourselves a uh, an aquifer. We just continue on this way. And we, this layer is now secure. This layer is now secure. So we're getting there. We're actually on the way. I'm keeping on the space bar the whole time, just in case we have to stop. There's uh, a lot to consider. Uh, in through here, we just go back into a build, construction, wall. See, it's not hard <laughs> doing this. It really isn't a problem, as long as you're on top of it. Um, leave that one. Now, as I say, I could use these. They're right there, but we'll just do it all out of wood. Having wood certainly is, is handy because it's they can travel quickly with it. So we've still got to go deeper down. So we'll start here with the uh, with the stairwell, up down, through to there. Unpause. And we've got more designation. Okay, that's now and again we've got more. So this is actually a big aquifer, actually. Is a big aquifer. Um, dig that out, dig that out. And we sit, we're starting to now collect water. Dwarves, dwarves can operate in level two of water without any real problems. Now, if it does become onerous, what we can do is actually just pummel a, a single staircase down as far as we can and just keep on going and going and going until we get past it all. And that way it'll drain into there and we just sort of basically treat that as a um, as a lost cause up until a certain point until we c it can block the top off. So you can have your dwarf sort of go all the way down like a fair, f like maybe sort of 20 layers or something. If it hits the cavern layer, that's okay because it'll just drain straight out into the cavern. If not, you've got all of that area to slowly fill up while you're still working the top, which would be okay. You can just then avoid that. Uh, but as long as you don't, if, if, if this gets to level twos, I'm going to do that just to break through and make sure I just keep on going straight down. Now, 
it's a, as soon as I start to see any level twos in here, that will be the trigger to do that particular method. So to do that, I would then I would then ditch all of these other things and just have a single one to go all the way down and just really go for it as far as far as I could possibly go. Um, but I don't think that's going to be like we've hardly sort of really had any issues in through here at all. Um, so that one is now done. We have to now break through this layer. So we go to the next lot of eggshell. Yeah, I'll do the next stairs. No, we don't need to furrow all this out first. Okay, that one's done. Uh, just better check and see how we're going with water. So if we go to the, um, where are we? Get place structures and work areas. That's actually okay. I'll just go and um, get build this one. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit lost as to what to do. Yeah, we've got 30 left. I might just chop down a few more trees. Yeah, we're getting through this. Let's go back up the top again and um, and then deal with the trees that are up around here as well. So we just get the ones that are close. I'm just wanting to more focus on, I'll just move that one back. I'm wanting to focus very heavily on on the uh, on the region that we're uh, on the on, on, on the security and just and getting things established before we before anything sort of really gets a bit crazy. I could even start building like a, a fortress in around here if I wanted to, uh, but I won't worry about doing that just yet. Uh, we're going to do most of our security underground. Uh, we have to get all the stuff from here underground. We don't want anything coming and taking it. So the quicker we can do that. And really, I should be. I just want to break through this bottom layer before we start to then bring everything down. So we'll, it's a long way down, as I say. We, there's other things we could have done, but that's the fun of Dwarf Fortress. So we've now got that one established. Let's just go back up into here. Again, we've got all up downstairs in through this side. Grab the stair, go down to the next layer, and we'll just see how we go. Don't tell me there's still more. Yep, there is still more. It's a big aquifer. We're in still in conglomerate rock walls in, in through here. This conglomerate is just like a, a loose compaction of uh, of like grit, um, and so it, it's, it, water can flow a lot through here. And we don't know how many layers of conglomerate we have to get through. Um, so we've done all that. We'll just do the next one. So we can see we are sort of picking things up. Just make doubly sure that there's everything is is still actually okay. And in through here. All right, we are getting a lot of water in here actually, but it's still nothing at all that we have to worry about. Get this one built. Oh, hang on, we've sort of the next layer down. So we'll just go to the mining stairs. So I'm pausing all the time just to really make sure that I don't waste any time while I'm doing all of this stuff. So we're picking up the water that's collected from the layers above. So the thicker, this is a thick aquifer. How many layers are we already? We've, so it's one, two, three, four, five. This is a fifth. This is big. <clears throat> This is looking different. Now, sandstone will also usually be aquifer. Um, yeah, so we've actually now, we've still actually, sandstone is very much uh, porous as well. So we're going to, uh, this is this is by far the thickest of these aquifers I've ever seen. Uh, we'll channel those out again. At least we're through the conglomerate. Just have a quick look and make sure that these guys have finished what they're doing. The cat's in the way. There we go. We've got, we've done it. That's a, that's good. So all the way up, this is now all secure, which is good. Just get these mined out. All right. So still got more aquifer. Wow, this is big. I might pause it while I just go through. I'm just it's rinse and repeat at this point in time until we get past it. 
Oh, I should every so often, because we've got so much stuff outside, I want to just make sure that we don't have kias or anything like that that may actually come and, or, or the different sorts of birds may come and try to steal our, our goods. They do tend to, to fly down, pick up our things and run off. We do actually have some bull mooses. These could be dangerous for us, but they probably will avoid us. So I think that that will be okay. Uh, so we'll just leave them alone. Uh, back and through here, we are paused. So we'll just keep on going. But anyway, look, I'll pause this while we get through this uh, limestone. Sorry, the sandstone. All right, so we've now made it our way through. Uh, just see what else we've got. An animal's grown to become a stray, a, a stray guinea, guinea thing in through this side. Dig, dig, digging days of these next and cancelled again. Uh, we'll just keep on going. We've still got this one here to go. Uh, you can see that it has been cancelled, but we now have slate. So we may be through it now, I think. And if we have a bit of a look, they are moving through and working on these. And so we're now just getting dampness. So I think we're actually through. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a look and see if these walls dry off. Uh, ultimately, what we have to do is just keep on going with the up down stair here for a little bit. So we'll start on this layer where we've got the up down stairs, just move through into this new one. And that way, at least I'll then just keep on going. And then we'll at least see what's going on here. Now we do have to make sure that we get them. Actually, one thing we do want to do is probably stop them from going too far further. Let's actually just, uh, uh, stop them at this point in time. So the way I can do that is I can just go across with the mining established and just go and change it to go from from standard to blueprints and we'll just go and stop them at that at that point just until we actually go back up and finish off this particular area. Um, yeah, definitely want to make sure that we do, do block all this on. So we've now gone through the sandstone. This is a big, big area, I've got to say. This is... Ma oh, what... Okay, we've now got uh, messages uh, of inf information coming in. Let's have a quick look and see what's going on here. So the two bull moose are still actually up there. Now, we've got a dog that's decided to go off and fight the bull moose. This is not a good idea. <laughs> this is not a good idea at all. So uh, if we go and have a look at the dog, uh, we just go and actually go there. So um, the stray dog scratches the bull moose in the lower body, denting the skin and bruising the fat. The stray dog scratches in the bull moose in the mouse, tearing the skin and bruising the muscle. Uh, the force pulls the head. So it's latching on to the actual bull moose. Now, I'm looking at the time. I'm right on the edge of the time I have. I think I'm now through the aquifer. So I think I'm going to leave this episode here. But we'll have a quick look and just see what these guys, where they actually are. They're way over here. What the hell is it doing over this side? Um, hang on, where the hell is it? If we just go across and find these uh, these bull mooses. Yeah, there's one there. And this is no, this is down down near where, near where we are. And others. This is the one. And here's the dog. So the bull moose is actually spooked. <laughs> so it's six years old. It's um, if we have a look at its health and then look at the description, we'll then sort of see uh, his mouth is cut open, his mouth is bruised, his lower body is dented, and his lower body is bruised. So he is being chased around by the dog. Um, it's a bit of a it's a bit risky, you know. Like I don't I don't like them going off and doing this. I think what I might do is tell everyone to come back again. I just want I just want security around where where everything actually is. We could create a pen and just put everyone in the pen for now, just so that they're actually nice and close. I'm, I'm still worried about that message that came up about the um, the hand of Uthalus Daz or whatever it actually is. Um, so we'll just get rid of that. But what I will do is I'll set up a, uh, a zone. And we're going to go to um, pens and pastures. And I'll just create like a, a pasture, just a smallish one, just off to the side here. And just there for our animals, so we'll accept that. All the animals, you, you guys stay here. Now, if they get scared, they'll run off, but at least this stops them from wandering around in the map, uh, which I don't want them doing at this stage. <laughs> I want them I want them contained uh, at this location until we're actually secure underground. So we're getting very, very close now. I'll just right-click. We may There may still be more fighting before before it's all over and done with. Uh, and I will just double check that. Wait, how many layers have we actually had of this? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine layers, and then we think we're through it here. Uh, you can see there that we're, we're not getting, actually it's now sort of draining off. If I go and do this, see how there's, there's no longer any water here. So this water is now dried. So I think that this is no longer a, a problem, but we do have to, get these areas just blocked up and then we're done 
So that was nine layers of aquifer. I've never had it that deep before. I never ever. That is by far the, the deepest aquifer I've ever had. And you saw there, it wasn't that onerous getting through it. Uh, that is deep. That is a deep, deep aquifer. It was deep underground as well. It's a lot deeper than I've ever had before in the ground as well. So very, very solid. Now just make sure the dog and the moose are still fighting. I'm going to sort of let that happen just for a little while. Okay, we'll just block this one off now. And um, constructions wall. All right, we've got 35 logs. I might just go back up the top. If I press F1, it'll take me up to where the wagon actually is. And uh, I will just go and pick up a, a few more of these uh, logs. So we'll just go and uh, chop down a little bit more around the place. Because uh, we'll need a few logs underground as well. Now that uh, dog, where are you off? What are you doing? This is a very flat zone that we're actually in. Now, is it still chasing that moose? Let's have a bit of a look and see what, what it's sort of saying through here. The dog is fighting. Okay, so the now the now the moose is starting to attack the dog. It keeps on missing, so it's actually charging at the dog. So the, the stray dog scratches the bull moose in the right front hoof, but the attack glances away. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> The bull moose misses the stray dog. The bull moose charges at the stray dog. It collides with the stray dog, and the stray dog is knocked over and tumbles backwards. Now, where the hell was that? That was in around here somewhere. Uh, the stray dog stands up. The bull moose kicks the stray dog in the lower body with its right, uh, right rear foot. In fact, is that still there? No, we don't know where the dog in that is at this stage. This is still up in the middle of the map. Um, have another look at this. this I find this these so, so detailed. Um, Yep, so um, uh, yep, the, the bull moose kicks the stray dog in the lower body with its right rear hoof, bruising the fat. The bull moose charges the stray dog, collides with the stray dog, the stray dog tumbles backwards. It's still standing up. It kicks it again a second time, um, bruising the bone. This is going to hurt this dog. This dog's going to be fairly... It's hit it again and again. It kicks it again. Um, the attack glances away charges it, it tumbles over backwards it's, it has now stand it stood up it now attacks the, <laughs> the moose but he jumps away it's no the, the stray dog was stunned now where the hell are you dog <laughs> get back in here uh let's just try to find him if we can if we go to other they're still around it was the second one wasn't it well there's the moose now the moose is injured uh, if we have a look at its uh, health and then description, we can then sort of see its mouth is cut open, its mouth is bruised, its lower body is dented. So nothing much since the other attacks. It's certainly got its own back. Oh, there's the dog there. Yeah, let's just go forward a little bit. Like we, I think we're actually... I'll okay. well, just let it step forward. It's still chasing it around. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. So we'll leave that one where that is. Uh, we'll just go back to F1 and... Um, and we'll go back down the bottom. I do have to end this episode. Um, yeah, the dog and the moose. There we are. Uh, what an aquifer. What a massive, massive aquifer this is. Let's just keep it going. We'll just keep on watching to see if there's any more combat. Now, again, we just want to make sure that this is all s sorted out. Now, if we go back into here, has this dried off? Yes, it has. We're through the aquifer. Hallelujah. We're sort of done. Now, for safety's sake, I like to still go a few layers under. You can see that this is now, it's wet because of all the stuff that's come down. Now, we're going to have this, unfortunately. Uh, but the aquifer, this is not aquifer, even though it's, it's showing dampness because everything is just drained into this area. So let's now go through and undampen this one and or un unspecify this. And there we are. Okay, so they'll now start digging. And again, it's, it's level twos. So they are, it is, it's uncomfortable for them, but they should be okay. And we'll just have a quick look and just make sure that this does keep on. Yeah, see how it's drying off really nicely now. And they'll just keep on going down. We're now into granite. So we've now hit granite. This is about as solid as we need to, need to worry about. And they'll just keep on going down. We'll just keep it, we'll let them go down a fair distance. I might stop them around here. Like this is a long way down now, underneath the underneath where we actually are. I'm just going to go and uh, and stop the stop everything. Actually, that is the last, that's the last bit anyway. So this is going to be full of water. Now we don't have to go down that far. Let's just this is where we've got aquifer. 
this is not aquifer. So I've just got the, the mining selected and then we can go down a little bit further. We can start really, I might even start at the first granite layer and make this the start of our fortress. Anyway, I'll leave that for next turn. Thanks for watching. I will catch you then. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, by the way, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. Any interaction with the video is really, really valuable for me. And of course, uh, thank you again to my Patreon supporters and anybody that has actually supported the channel through merchandising or anything else that you've actually sort of uh, been able to do over the years. So thank you guys. <laughs> I really love the community that we actually have as well. Like it's just a, it's just such a, an awesome time. I love doing this. Thank you for watching.